hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel and it's maya yes i am going to be talking about um the shared scholarship i'm sorry that i couldn't make this video before the deadline which is really sad so i'm going to be talking about uh how you can look for courses and how you can see how many spots are there at each university so let's type this in commonwealth shared scholarship we just go and get any link that has the domain fcdo.gov.uk government of uk and then uh let me try to see if i have 150 perfect this is just an overview so let's go to how to apply yes i mean if you checked this website yesterday yes it was open until yesterday and now we can see the list of the courses that are approved are still there so let's have a look so um like i mean all of you know there are 60 themes under which these scholarships are offered and if you go to access inclusion and opportunity you go and check here right we have brunei university international human rights Durham Mathematics, Goldsmith, Anthropology, uh, Disability, Learner School of Economics, Gender Development and Globalization, Queen's University Belfast, MSST Planning and Design, SOAS, St. Mary's Charity Management, Education for Mary's, uh, again, yeah, University called Lon College London, MOA Education, Gender International Development, Birmingham, MOA African Development, and then all these courses so that means that if you want to apply to this university you can only apply for either this in course or this course you can't choose any other course these courses are attached to these specific universities but this is not the end you can select another theme for example peace and governance and then you can come and just check the university and then the attached course at that university so the mistake some students do is once they check the first um the first theme once they check the courses for this first theme they think oh it's done my course is not there they forget that here on this side the courses differ for each theme don't forget to look here guys i have i mean i've seen so many candidates making that mistake just they mean they, they they come here and they're like oh my course is not there but when you go and check under maybe you know global uh prosperity the course is there the university is there and the course is there because some students were planning to apply uh to cambridge and some were planning to apply to oxford for peace but they didn't see the course and they didn't see the university and i was like well if you search there is cambridge there is oxford here there is oxford here so there is you know st andrews there is Tulling, there is you know straff i failed to pronounce this university but i mean i should learn this because i have google yeah so you know uh you guys uh keep on uh going through these uh, themes to see uh what university um is there and what course is offered don't just go to one theme and be like oh my university is not there my course is not there you can find your course in actually you know a different theme but definitely you'll find that the, you'll find that these themes are related so after uh after uh checking these courses what you should do next is to check how many spots are there at all these universities let's see so we go back here and then we see details of all participating universities so if you go to check that you will see that at this university there are only two scholarships bangla university five scholarships uh, bishop one scholarship brunei university london five scholarships coventry eight that's good cranfield a, a nine if the number of scholarships are many that means that uh, the chances of you getting it is higher than when the, the number of sports are really few for example one Dahomey, one for goldsmith wow so competitive 
Imperial College 3, competitive. King's College 2, competitive. Liverpool 2, competitive. London School of Economics 5, mm, okay. Uh, London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine 7, pretty good. Newcastle University 4, uh, Oxford Brookes University 2, Queen Margaret University 3. Wow, these are all competitive. All competitive. And guys, be careful when you're looking at the sports because some universities only uh, support uh, candidates from specific countries. For example, this one, uh, Queen Mary University of London, they'll only offer those sports for uh, Kenyans and Ugandans. So be careful. And some universities only uh, offer these scholarships to refugees. So be careful before you submit your applications there. Yeah. Three, Queen's University Belfast, Royal Veterinary College. Three, University of Advanced Study. Two, Sheffield. Three, SOAS. Three, Competitive. St. Mary's University, Twickenham. Five, UCL. Nine, wow, good, good. Bath. Six, Birmingham. Two, Competitive. Bristol, eight. University of Cambridge, nine. Oh, good. Uh, Central Lancashire, two. I don't even know if that's how it's pronounced. Anyway, Chester, eight. Good. Derby, four. East Anglia, two. Edinburgh, four. Wow, good. Extra, two. Competitive. Glasgow, five. Good enough. How? Two? Kent, two. Wow. Competitive leads. Nine. Good, that's amazing. University of Leicester, seven. Nottingham, six. Oxford, five. Portsmouth, one. Reading, three. Southampton, two. Andrews, three. Sterling, nine. Mm, eight. Strath, some Strathclyde? Grr. Sussex, two. Warwick, eight. Yeah, so you will, you, I, I mean, if these universities, the universities that have over five, if they have, you know, a course that is in, in line with your interests, make sure that those, you know, are your first choices, priorities, because, you know, the chances of you getting them is really, you know, high. But because this, since this is shared, so apply to as many as you can. You never know you can get over four nominations, and that's the good thing. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to inform you check how many spots are there i have nothing else to tell you what i don't understand and i think um because universities can have different courses and under different themes so i'm not so sure if all these positions are like the total of all the spots available and i think that is how it is which is somehow sad because the themes are many. So if one university is in maybe maybe under two themes, that means that mm, it's like a division. So guys, uh, that's all. Next time, don't make a mistake. Try to look through all the themes. And when you're applying, make sure that you were, you, you, you do start new so you can have, you know, in, in independent applications for each university. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.